Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're on Fade Cloud with the IP being on the screen right now and make sure you're using my IP. But in today's video, we're doing a little showcase video showing off their OP Prison Realm Season 30. And with this new season, they have released or are going to be releasing a lot more features and just new things in general, which is why I'm recording this video and I'm going to kind of let y'all know what those things are, show them off in this video, show off the new pickaxe enchants and all that good stuff and if you enjoy the video you know what to do like comment and as always subscribe the prison realm resets this saturday february 4th at 4 p.m eastern standard time and i will be recording a prison series on the release i haven't recorded a prison series on fade clouds prison realm in a while so it feels good to be back now if we head over to our mine they have actually changed the basically way you prestige and rank up instead of having to do slash rank up or any of that it automatically progresses you as you mine so as you can see as i mine, actually i'm on prestige that's awkward slash prestige i go in prestige it makes my mind a little bit bigger but now if you go ahead and look right above my hot bar rank one now i'm rank two and it has a progression bar and all that and basically once you get to rank 100 you can then prestige now prestiging is a little different as well so instead of your mind getting bigger through the higher ranks you go the mind gets bigger through the higher prestiges you go so if i do slash prestige set obviously this is only because i'm often y'all can't do this but for me to show y'all kind of what i mean prestige set slate plays let's go and set me at prestige 100 as you can see if i go ahead and do such mine reset my mine did not get bigger interesting now if we do enchant set to slate plays and go ahead and abuse ourselves dragon burst which is a very overpowered enchant here on the server and we just go ahead and set it to a million which is like really really broken i'm going to instantly destroy the mine and i want to get to rank 100 the reason my mine didn't get bigger is just because i force set myself to prestige i need to actually okay you know what i'm going to do i'm going to set my prestige to 10 just so i can rank up easier as you can see rank 46 rank 40 58 rank 70 rank 76 rank 85 rank 93 and rank 100 now i can prestige slash prestige my mind should get bigger because i'm naturally prestiging instead of forcing myself to prestige hopefully that's making sense slash prestige bang and there we go so at prestige 11 our mind is now this big obviously this enchant is impossible to to get this good i just kind of said it like that but it is kind of satisfying just destroying the mind this fast but a lot Along with prestiging, you get points. And what points are used for is slash upgrade. If I do slash upgrade, there's an orbs booster, gems booster, and EXP booster. And how these works, if I go ahead and click into the orbs booster, it has an entire tree of upgrades. And one point, I can get a 0.05x booster. So if I go ahead and click that, there we go. And now if I was to use another point, which you get one point per prestige, I would then get a 0.1x booster. So there we go a uh, 0.10 x booster now if i do slash booster this should work my booster upgrades is my rank gives me a 1x and then the upgrades multiplier is a 0.1x so if i go ahead and go back to upgrades let's see what the max rank you can get a boost of 2x and basically I'm thinking as long as you prestige the first 32 times you prestige obviously you get 32 points i don't know it might be a strategy to focus it all on the orbs booster because ultimately orbs are kind of the best currency because you use it to upgrade all the pickaxe enchants now while we're on the topic of pickaxe enchants if i go to the tier 4 enchantments phantom beam this is a brand new enchant i've never seen here on fade cloud and i want to see it in action so if i slash enchant set slate plays and hit another little abuse action we can give ourselves phantom beam what is that like 1 million i think that is again or is that 10 million i can't read numbers that would be 10 million and as you can see when i mine once in the mine it spawns a phantom that basically sends a beam through the mine and it looks like it's really overpowered now if my mine was bigger i believe the phantom starts from the middle and just goes until the mine ends obviously my mind is not that big right now so the phantom beam enchant isn't as effective as as it would be and keep in mind you're not even able to get this enchant until your pickaxe level is 260 so that means when your pickaxe level is 260 you're going to be making a lot of progress and you're already going to be so deep into the season that your mind's probably going to be completely maxed out so that enchant 
is gonna be pretty good. Now, I just realized I've been rocking a Santa hat all freaking episode. We need to go ahead and change that as it's no longer December. Let's go ahead and hit the green dino hat. There we go. I think that uh that fits February a little more. I don't really know why. It Actually, you know what? What am I thinking? Hard eyes. Freaking Valentine's. That fits Easter. I mean, sorry, February so much better. Okay, now back to the, uh, the actual Fade Cloud stuff and the important stuff. If I go ahead and do slash pet fusion, this is a new thing. This is really simple, but basically you can get pets which give boosts so like if i go slash pets i have slots for pets basically there's like orbs pets for instance let me just go and get one okay this is perfect i have a common pet egg in my inventory if i go ahead and open this i got an orbs pet i can right click it and now it's floating next to me and i have that right now there's pet fusion which is where you can fuse pets okay let me just go and get a crap ton of pets and show y'all okay there we go we have 60 pet eggs we're just gonna spam right click it oh my gosh so many noises are going on and we have so many different pets in our inventory if i do slash pet fusion fusion there we go there's this quick fusion which i actually haven't tried yet which it'll basically search for level one pets inside my inventory and automatically fuse them which is very helpful for a case like mine that i just opened 30 freaking pet eggs so let's go ahead and try this out but okay before we try that out what we can do is basically pet place this random oh you can't fuse common pets okay i didn't know that but place this rare pet in there and then i would need another rare pet which i don't know why i chose rare bang another rare pet well i'm dumb it has to be the freaking same type so this is a skills pet did i get another rare skills pet i don't i don't think i did but reset let me go slash pet fusion again click this quick fusion bang there we go i don't know which one i think it did this gems pet to epic plus so i think i had two epic gems pet and it made an epic plus gems pet so this is very he helpful this quick fusion and the quick just pet fusion in general is a very good feature because i know that's been needed and people have been angry with getting multiple rare pets and all that and uh, it's finally added so it's nice now let me hit a slash trash and go ahead and throw every single thing in my inventory basically away bang 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 and now for prestige boxes which i just prestige and i get a little box as you can see this is a prestige 10 box every time you prestige i think i don't know around that time you get a prestige box which just adds 200 million orbs which is kind of overpowered i don't know how often so like that was a prestige 10 box even though i was to prestige 12 if that makes sense so let's go ahead and use our overpowered pickaxe to uh be able to prestige again and i want to see i'm guessing throughout probably like prestige 11 through 20 i'll get prestige 10 boxes and once 20 there might be prestige 20 boxes if that makes sense so slash prestige again we get another prestige 10 box if that makes sense just a cool little feature as well and obviously keep in mind there is so many other features this video is kind of pointed towards people that have played fade cloud uh before and just are getting to know the new features they added for this new season but i know this has been in the past few seasons but miners the freaking auto miners are so cool if i go and summon my first auto miner as you can see see he is now in the mine and i can actually give this miner his own enchants to make him better and you can do multiple miners let me go and see i've actually never done this spawned all four of my miners oh my gosh they are going ham as you can see all four of my boys you love to see it and of course each miner has their own own upgrades and all that so let me go ahead and unsummon all these bad boys just so they're not in my mind bang goodbye thank you for the help but yeah that, that's a that's a beautiful feature now i wanted to show off this enchant because it's really cool and i know it's been in fade cloud for a while but i love having the permission to give myself these enchants at an insane level just to kind of show y'all them so with cry let me go and get that set up all right there we go so if i mine in the mine as you can see with cry procs and it spawns this wither that just destroys <laughs> I mean, are you serious? Look how overpowered this engine is. Obviously, I have it maxed out at 10 million, which is not even possible. If I go ahead and look at it, you can only get it to 10,000, but I just put it there so I can, y'all can see it activate. But dude, it is extremely overpowered. I mean, is it still freaking going? Oh my gosh, but imagine having this enchant in a maxed out mine. Like, it, that, it's just it's just broken. And then another cool one is Bee Storm. Y'all may have seen it before from my shorts, but let me go and show y'all this one as well. Okay, let me do a slash mine reset, and now if I break, it should spawn an army of bees, sure enough, that go through the mine. And, and basically, they're just dropping honey, and then it basically deteriorates the mine, as you can see. It's a lot better, again, when your mine is massive because it just goes all the way through the mine, just as you can see, I'm kind of showing y'all, a mine would cover basically this entire area. 
and it's just really overpowered obviously it's, it's really not that good in a little tiny mine like this but uh it is good when you're basically maxed out but yeah other than that that's kind of all i got for y'all y'all know how prisons works and there's obviously more features that'll be here for the release saturday but i wanted to make this video just to kind of let everyone know i'll be recording a series and to make sure you know that fade clouds bring in the freaking heat this prison season and i'm stoked for it and uh yeah so i'll see you guys all hopefully on fade cloud using the ip slate.fadecloud.com this saturday february 4th at 4 p.m eastern standard time and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out